You gotta line the stomach with carbs. Rice, noodles, pasta, bread. And then you got What if cake. you're keto? What's a keto? <laughs> Welcome to St. Thoughts with Alex. <laughs> we are here for my birthday. You know, we did not go to a, you know, sanctuary. This is not about, you know, sitting in our, our villa meditating. This is about how are we going to end the year with a bang? <laughs> so we're here at the local grocery store, AMC pick up a few condiments and, you know, little hors d'oeuvres, little something something for our little reception party tonight. And wish me luck. Definitely need to make sure we're well stocked with this department. Champagne rosé? Seems like a good idea. From Provence. I guess all rosés Provence. I remember my parents telling me when they first moved to the U.S. that they would go to the grocery store. This was like in the 70s and not know how to shop for anything because they were always, you know, they only knew how to cook Asian food and Chinese food. And so all the groceries and everything in the grocery store was, you know, very foreign to them. This is kind of the situation I feel like I'm in right now. Oh, but I do see some Thai peanut sauce. Love a sriracha anything. I like the ones that you get on JetBlue. Oh, love that catch. You're one of those people that, you know, like, go into the grocery store and you just like grab all the different loaves to make sure that like, you're getting like the softest ones. It's kind of gross, but I'm about to make a spread. It literally looks like bird food. All the alcoholic condiments I know really well. Look at these mango stains. These look good. I love the pretty packaging. Do people eat radishes? Well, that's good. That's a good idea. Okay. I did always love string cheese growing up. Just that like all-American lunchable string cheese, you know, Pop-Tarts, those things that you just give to your kids to shut them the fuck up. Love a copa, a prosciutto, a speck, I have a oh, oh. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Like, when does that ever happen in the US? Chef Wang up in here. This cherry blossom packaging, so iconic. 6.7 grams. See, there's no point even telling me because I don't even know what that means. What is a gram? What does a gram of sugar even mean? I hate melon. I don't like it. Oh, passion fruit. Passion fruit. That's not a passion fruit. That's a papaya. I mean papaya. <laughs> that looks like a fermented body part. You know what? I try to put the things that are stiff and hard together so they don't crush the soft produce. This is a still life right here. If I was just like, here bitches, there's, there's your reception, help yourself. Right, so a lot of people misinterpret what a wang over is. A wang over is when you prepare for the night properly. You take the right supplements, fill your stomach with the right ingredients before and after drinking. You hydrate. You don't think about the amount of alcohol that you're drinking so that when you wake up in the morning, you feel great and sunny and excited to start the day. But what if you're like throwing up? Then you didn't prepare properly. You know, I don't even really get buzzed until, you know, probably like the seventh or eighth drink, which is like crazy. We're gonna do a crudite here. These dressings. I'll do a little meat plate with cheese, caper berries, and olives. Baguettes, you know, chips for all those domestic motherfuckers. Taiwanese fruit plate. Do I need to cut off these little things? Okay, if 
That's not what I thought. Hold on. Looks like a beat. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, there it goes. You see that little beauty? It's like a little garlic. Tastes really good here. Mmm. Mmm. Try one. These are so pretty. They look like little sea creatures. Yeah. This way. Ooh, that was easy. I kind of feel like they're in the lychee family. I love when you're like in New York and they like give you like an exotic fruit platter and it's like mango. <laughs> Since we couldn't find the nectarine or peaches to wrap the papaya with the prosciutto. Mmm! Phenomenal. I mean, pat on the back. Looks delish. I think I'm the most proudest of this dish. I'm gonna be a crowd pleaser. Zesty Italian dressing. They'll never know it's homemade. Homemade. Can I take away the flowers? Alright, so we'll see you at 7.45. So it looks like this concludes our session of entertaining with Alex. I'm now going to go get wasted and enjoy the soundboard. Au revoir! <laughs>